The 2020 8th Grade Band Award goes to a young man who has distinguished himself by auditioning and earning a position in GMEA's 7th All District Band for two consecutive years. This year he placed 5th in the entire district, which encompasses about a sixth of the state. He's a natural born leader, and I'm proud of you, Luke Greer. This year's 8th Grade Drama Award goes to Gracia Wright. Gracia not only served as our Fine Arts Prefect this year, but she also had the title role in our production of Annie, participated in the show Must Go Online, led our middle school praise band on a weekly basis, and performed with the Jazz Ensemble. Gracie will be a member of the high school one act group in the fall, and we can't wait to see how God uses her talents there. This year's 8th grade art award goes to Rosa Escobar. Rosa is an outstanding artist who always turns in quality work. Aside from being a gifted artist, she works hard on every single project and is busy creating art outside the classroom constantly. Rosa has such a sweetheart and is always spending extra time cleaning the classroom and doing tasks she hasn't even been asked to do. With her passion for the arts, I know Rosa will continue to produce great work in the future. Congratulations, Rosa. This year's 8th grade Spanish award goes to Mia Hill. Mia has taken Spanish for two semesters now, and in those two semesters, she has learned a great amount of Spanish. She has a strong work ethic. Every day she sits in class and she is prepared, and she soaks up every bit of Spanish that I present. She is a great note taker. She just acquires the language at a really fast rate. She can output Spanish beautifully, and she demonstrates high proficiency. She's a great leader to her classmates, and she has been an honor to have in class. I'm really excited to see where she goes in the Spanish language when she gets to high school. consistently impressed with her drive and her diligence and so congratulations to Miss London Wagner. Hello this is Brian Evans and I'm here to present the Bible Award for 8th grade for the 2019-2020 school year. Jesus says in the New Testament that the greatest commandment is to love your neighbor as yourself and in Romans Paul talks about that all the other commandments that uh, God has given is wrapped up into that one. There's one student at uh, CHS in eighth grade that I think that personifies that idea of loving others uh, greater than she loves herself. It would be Taylor Fisher. Taylor, uh, from the first day that uh, she came into class, uh, worked hard to get to know me as a new teacher from uh, a different city. And I saw her do the same thing with her classmates, always working to build them up and someone who gave her best effort each and every day we had class. In our class, we're challenged to look at our worldview and see how it lines up with uh, what uh, will be called a Christian biblical worldview. And I think that Taylor is someone that challenged herself this year to examine her own life and to see where um, her worldview may have been different than what uh, the Bible teaches. And someone who was challenged by that uh, and is always looking to improve herself. I believe that she is uh, destined for great things. She is a, a wonderful young lady, a very hard worker, and uh, she is very deserving of this award, the 2019-20 8th Grade Bible Award. It's Taylor Fisher. Congratulations, Taylor. Hello. It is now my pleasure to give the award for U.S. History to an outstanding 8th grade young man who exemplifies a history student he uh, not only loves the subject, but he is also consistently turning in excellent work and is a help to his fellow classmates and shows that uh, he has a deep interest in the subject and in his community. And therefore, it is my pleasure to award the U.S. History Award for the school year 
2019 and 2022, Mr. Luke Greer. Congratulations, Luke. I look forward to seeing your successes in the future. Hello, this is Mr. Griffith here to present you with the 8th grade science award. This year, I had a student that was a true leader in her class. She was ready to work every day when she came in. She helped to include others in the things we were learning, and she was bold enough to ask questions when she didn't understand. Her problem-solving abilities and leadership will take her far. The 8th grade science award goes to Taylor Fisher. Congratulations. Good morning, I'm Mary Neff, the middle school math teacher, and I will be presenting the 8th grade Algebra 1 award. This year the award goes to Luke Greer. Luke, you've consistently over the course of the year maintained a very high uh, grade average in Algebra 1, which is not easy to do. Uh, I've been very impressed not only with the grades that you've maintained, but with your attitude in the class and your willingness to work hard. Uh, that Those traits will serve you very well when you get to high school next year. I'm very proud of you and the work that you've done this year, and I can't wait to hear about all the good things you're going to do next year in geometry, honors geometry. Good morning, I'm Mary Neff, the middle school math teacher, and I will be presenting the 8th grade Pre-Algebra 2 award. And this year the award goes to Ashton Barrett. Ashton, at the beginning of the year, I'm sure you didn't think that you would be receiving this award, but you have proven over the course of the year what an outstanding math student you are. You've maintained the highest GPA in math over the course of the year. I'm very proud of you, and I look forward to hearing great things about what you're doing next year in algebra. 